all my Fox Hollow fam. I'm Dave and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. As the weather turns colder, it's time to whip up some warm comfort food. Now people make all kinds of chilies and soups this time of the year and I have just the thing to go with them. Today we're going to make homemade buttermilk biscuits, but not just any biscuits, we're making North Carolina cheese biscuits. They're stuffed with melted cheddar cheese and they go great with a nice hot bowl of chili or all just by themselves. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. The first thing I'm going to do is shred some cheese. I have four ounces of sharp white cheddar cheese and four ounces of medium cheddar cheese and I'm just going to shred them here until they're all shredded up. Oh, oh, cheddar cheese girl, cheddar, cheddar cheese girl. And then I'm going to mix our cheeses together so that they're blended. Doesn't have to be perfect. And that looks really good. I should have about two cups of shredded cheese here. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my handy third cup measure and we're going to get a third of a cup of cheese and I'm going to make a ball of cheese out of this. I'm just going to smash it together. There you go. And I'll make six of those. They should be a third cup each. And there you go, I have six of these cheese balls ready to go. And we'll move on to the next step. Okay, to start our dough, we need two and a half cups of flour put into our food processor here. That's two and a half. One tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of baking powder. one half teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix this together real quick here. Just to get it blended a little bit. To that, I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter cut up into small pieces and chilled. I like to put mine in the freezer just to make sure it's nice and hard. And we're going to zap this again to get the butter broken up. Once our butter's broken up into little pieces, we're going to take this out and put it in a bowl. To our flour mixture, we're going to dump a cup and a half of buttermilk and just give this a stir until it's completely combined. So it's just combined, you don't want to over stir it. It's going to be a very wet dough that's very sticky and very lumpy as well. And there it is. Next we want to take a cup of flour and dump it onto a baking sheet like this. Believe me, you need a generous amount of flour here for this next step. What we're going to do is this, this batter is really wet, so I'm going to take a greased up half cup scoop and just get a half cup of batter and dump it into there, onto the plate. Just a little flour over it. There. 
I'm just keep doing that. I should get about six out of this. Six half cup portions. Okay, just pat these down a little bit and we're ready for our next step. Next, we're gonna take these little dough balls and we're gonna pat them down a good bit into about a three or four inch circle. Take one of our cheese balls and set it in the center and then just bring the sides up and pinch them together at the top. And make a, a dough ball out of that. And we're just going to set this down in the center of a greased nine inch pie plan or paper or cake pan in this case. And we're going to keep making more of these. This dough is really soft, so you have to be careful with it. Make sure your pans have plenty of flour on them. Okay, we're gonna bake these at 500 for about five minutes and then lower the temperature to 450 and bake them for another 15 minutes until they're golden brown on top and done through the middle. My favorite part the taste test I'm just gonna grab a little piece off of this mm. oh those are warm and flaky they're terrific you're gonna love it wrapping up today I want to thank you for joining us and encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the descriptions below but before I go just remember good times and good food on baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen see you soon if you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.